Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, okay, okay. One, two, one, two, one, two. We're ready to start this session and I have only six, well, five students. Great. Okay, I have Sofia, Vanessa, Hector, Jeanette, and Juan. Oh my God, my camera is off. Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you again. Good to see you again, again. Again. Ya empezamos. Oh my God. Game. He's correcting me again. No. Okay. No problem. This is the. Uh, That's the purpose. Objective. That's the objective. Oh. Thank you very much. It's true. Okay. Hmm. So, what's in this class for today? Did did I leave you? Did I did I assign any homework? No? Okay, Can you I didn't. Repeat again? Did I assign any homework to you? Did I assign any oh, homework? Yeah. Yes. Two sentences? Yes. Two, Two sentences. sentences. In Two sentences, yes. Okay. Using what? Using comparative and a superlative. One in Spanish and one in English. Hmm. That's weird. I left it in Spanish. But anyways, uh, let's see. Okay. Who wants to start? Make the question to one of your classmates. Mm -hmm. Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Who wants to start? Janet, I know you want to start. Come on. No, not today. No. <laughs> not today. Not today. Try it. Not today. Okay. Come on. Don't be shy. <laughs> oh, we had to translate from Spanish to English, right? Okay. That's the that's the whole purpose. That is the whole purpose. <laughs> Let me see what's going on with the rest. Okay, think about it. Let me text. Mm -hmm the other classmates, okay. Give me a chance. Give me a chance. A, a chance. chance. A chance. Okay. okay. A chance. Chance, chance, chance. Mm -hmm. Is waiting so, for you. Somebody else can do it. Can somebody <laughs> else do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Teacher, okay. I yes. But I know. No. You are not sure. Yeah. Acuérdense que era en español y en inglés, ya me acordé, porque la intención es que tú le ayudes a otro compañero, a ayudarle. O sea, que le vas a decir en la oración o la pregunta, lo que hayas preparado en español, para que tu compañero te lo diga en inglés. That's the purpose, okay, of the exercise. So we, let's, go, let's become dynamic. Go ahead, Juan. Por ejemplo, este grupo es más grande que el anterior. Oh, good. ¿A quién le haces la pregunta? Que traduzca al inglés eso. No sé quién pueda No tengas pena, Juan. Elegí a alguien al azar. Mira quién tiene tu color favorito. Uh, no, Verónica. Maybe. Thank you. sentence, Verónica. Um, where's Verónica? Oh, sí. Thank you. Verónica Espino, este grupo es más grande que el anterior. Este grupo es más grande que el anterior. Turn on your microphone. 
This group is bigger than anterior, no sé. Last. Last. Last then, one. then the last one. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about the previous? There you go. This group is bigger than the last one. Last one. This group is bigger than the previous one. Okay. The previous one, okay? Last one, previous one. Good job, Veronica. See, you can do it, guys. Easy, right? Okay. Y Juan, es, y Juan está como que... Es, <laughs> is that what you had? You had that? That's the answer you had, Juan? Yeah? Yes. Excellent. Okay, Veronica. Okay. Select somebody and tell your um, Spanish sentence. No, no, señora, no puedo. Ok. Ahorita aquí la tengo. Mi carro es más grande que el de mi vecina. Mi carro no, más rápido, perdón. es más rápido que oh, el de mi vecina. Mi carro es más rápido que el de mi vecina. To who? To who? who? Who is going to answer that question? ¿Quién le va a contestar? No, oh, she, she, no, no dijo, ¿verdad? Ok. Select somebody. My car is faster. Than my neighbor. Uh, again, Nuria, we couldn't hear you. My car. My car is faster than my car and my neighbor's cars. Okay, then my neighbors. There you go. My car is faster than my neighbors. Possessive pronouns. Yesterday we saw that. Very good, Nuria. Okay. Okay, thank you. Nuria, can you select somebody else and give your Spanish sentence? And Mari, no. Janet? <laughs> hey, Janet, okay. It's What's because okay? you, Janet, are next to my teacher and you were the <laughs> first person that I saw. <laughs> okay, good. Okay. What's the sentence? Mi perro o mi mascota es más divertido que el de mi amiga. My dog is... Fun um, I'm sorry, is of my friend. My dog or my pet is funnier. 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 Uh-huh. That of my friend. Then my friends. And my friends. Dale de oportunidad, Janet. Tiene que estudiar, Janet, los pronombres posesivos, ¿ok? Sí, yes, I know. ¿Qué tiene? I know. Ok. <laughs> sí, soy yo como... Ok. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Ok. Pr pr uh, possessive pronouns, guys. My friends and my friends. I like it. Good job. Ok, Janet, give your example in Spanish to someone else. Okay, let me see. Reyes. Ajá, uh -huh, there he That's is. To Vanessa Martinez. <laughs> Vanessa Martinez, uh -huh. okay. what's the sentence? Mi casa es más ordenada que la de María. Okay. 
My house is is more organized than Maria's. I think. Ah, uh, fíjate, casi, casi. It's more organized. Hay otro verbo, eh? Then, ajá, uh -huh, then. Then Maria. Marias. Excellent. Marias. Estamos ocupando mucho el pronombre posesivo. Uh, just... Can we use clean or tidy? Tidy. Tidy. Okay. Tidier. Tidier. Mm -hmm. So you remove the Y and you add IER. Tidier. Tidier. Just making sure. Okay, so my house is more organized than Maria's, or my house is tidier. Lo voy a escribir en su forma normal, ese adjetivo. Tidy, tidy, tidier. Okay, okay then Maria's. Very good. Oh my God, Oswaldo, you're so serious today. Wow. Hi. Hello. Very good. Welcome. Okay, let's Thank continue. You. <laughs> let's continue. Uh, Vanessa Martinez, select somebody mm -hmm. who hasn't talked. Mm, Vladimir. 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 Vladimir knows English. Yes. Vladimir. Yeah, he's I very good. So. <laughs> um, el idioma inglés es más fácil que el francés. In the, the English idioms uh, is, is easier than French. Excellent. Very good. Now, make it shorter. Vladimir, can you make it shorter? Yeah. You said that the English or the English idiom is easier than French. Okay. We can say language. Mm -mm. language. And actually, yes, it is. Uh, Only English. English. Language. Language is the right thing because idioms in English means modismos, let's say. Okay, so make it shorter. Vamos a aprovechar esta, esta frase para. para um, ¿Saben qué? Lo voy a poner así. Esto es lo que decía Vladimir. Vladimir, ¿podrías hacer más corta tu oración o más natural? ¿Cómo lo harías? Um, English language. Ok, te, lo pongo, te doy una pista. Hay partes en esa oración que, no, que son obvias por la naturaleza de la oración, entonces no las necesito ahí. Que están en el contexto de, 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 de la oración, de hecho, no necesito especificar que esta cosa es esto. I'm sorry, da? Ese es uno, el artículo. English the. is easier than French. You got it. English is easier than French. Yeah. You see? Simpler. Simpler. Okay. okay. Be careful. It's not more simple. It's not more simple. It's Simpler, okay, <laughs> yeah, okay, you got it, very good, Vladimir, very good. So, English is easier than French. No necesito especificar que el inglés es un idioma y eso nos pasa a todos, a todos, nos pasa igual el artículo para que lo, lo ocupas. Ahora, corrigiéndoles esto, después, antes de ustedes tengo un intermedio tres, ustedes son pre-intermedios, van a estar en intermedio tres, no sé con quién, no sé si conmigo. El punto es, antes de que lleguen intermedio tres, Cuando generalizo, no ocupo artículos. ¿Cuáles son los artículos? Da. The, Verónica, ajá. The. Ajá. A. 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 E an. 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 That's it. An. The, a, uh, an. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, si voy a ocupar all, por ejemplo, lo voy a ocupar con plurales. Es decir, cuando yo generalizo, pluralizo. Ok. 
No, en este ah, caso, okay. tiene sentido. <risa> Ocupen eso, traten de ocupar eso y escriban algo pluralizando. Uh, en español decimos los hombres. Eh, los hombres son malos. But in English, you say men are mean, right? Men are mean. For example. Y estoy pluralizando. Men es el plural de man, right? I will never say the men. Si digo the men, tendría que ser más específico y decir the men that I know. Not even that. The men that I know. The men I, that I know are mean. Los hombres que yo conozco, me comí la N, perdón, no. Los hombres que yo conozco son malos. Estoy especificando the men. I generalize, I use men are mean. Okay? Good. Great job. Let's continue, Vladimir. Tell your sentence to somebody else. And Marilyn is like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Veamos, eh, yo soy más alto que mis hermanos. To who? Yo. Who's going to answer? Um, no sé quién no ha... Ok, te doy las opciones. Tenés a Juan, Eleonora, Ronald, Oswaldo, Marilyn, Reyes, Héctor, Sofía, Delmi. Y Boris. Oh, y Kike. Ok. Uh, Reyes. Ok. Reyes. Repeat again, Vladimir. Yo soy más alto que mis hermanos. I am taller than my brothers. Got it. Very good. Ok. I am taller than my brothers. Okay, excellent. Reyes, select somebody and tell your phrase. Come on. Los teléfonos Samsung son más rápidos que los... ¿Qué los? Alcatel. Okay. Los teléfonos Samsung son más rápidos que los Alcatel. Ok. Good. Who? Ronald. Ronald, ok. Oswaldo. <risa> los teléfonos Samsung son más rápidos que los Alcatel. Eso es. Ajá. Um, One second, so please. Uh -huh, think, think, think. Um, Samsung cell phone. Samsung cell phone uh, is fast, are faster than Alcatel cell phone. Hmm. are faster than Alcatel cell phones. Okay, can you tell me if that is correct? Is that correct? If you compare this sentence with Vladimir's, is that okay? Samsung cell phones are faster than Alcatel cell phones. Remember what we corrected on Vladimir's sentence. Generalize. Come on, guys. Show me. Show me that you, you understood. Hmm? Samsung are faster than Alcatel. Exactly. Applying what we said before, that will be right. But Samsung cell phones are faster than Alcatel's. Hmm. Why? Because 
you have a lot of Samsung cell phones, televisions, even cars and helicopters with that brand. So you have to specify that, that you're talking about the cell phones. Okay, but Alcatels, Los Alcatel, Alcatels. Great job, okay? Still, I mean, you can make that mistake. It's okay. You can specify that you're talking about Alcatel cell phones. Okay, good job. Let's see, Osvaldo, one more. Just one more, you can select someone else. You have Eleonora, Sofia, Marilyn, uh, Hector, Kike, Boris, Edgar, oh my God, tell me. You have options. Um, Boris. Boris. Um, Where's Boris? Oh, Boris, okay, huh? Let me see. Um, mi computadora es más barata que la que la tuya. <laughs> Good. Um, mi computadora es más barata que la tuya. My computer is cheaper than yours. Than yours. Good. Excellent. Okay. Espero que hayan hecho estos ejercicios y ocupar el traductor, vea. Yes. Ah, ok, no los puedo ver. No. Pero hay un Dios que todo lo ve. Ok, <laughs> so let's continue with the class. Do you still have any questions about comparatives and superlatives? No? No, yes. Okay, it's just a matter of practicing, right? That's all it takes. Okay, so yesterday we talked about pronunciation. Today we're gonna finish this. Um, we're gonna finish this section talking about distance and measurement. And before we jump into this, um, I would like to do something really quick with you. You see my screen? Hello? Yes. Yes. Okay. Can you see can you see the numbers? Yes, teacher. Yes. For, yes. For something. Yes. Okay. So do you what do you see guys? can somebody describe what you're looking at? It's like an island, I don't know. Island, very good. Island. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. Good, that's okay, don't worry. Some, some island. Some islands, some islands. Very ocean. good. Ocean. The ocean, the ocean. The ocean. The, the ocean. The ocean. Good, very good, the, the ocean. River. A river could the be river. right. Excellent, okay, so I was making sure. Uh, okay, let's practice something really quick. Can somebody read this number? Yes, read this number. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, Four four hundred fifty eight one hundred seventy eight seventy eight wait 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 okay permítame eh, Eleonora go ahead okay four five six one okay oh. Eleonora uh, four hundred fifty six millions and one hundred seventy eight and millions seven uh, oh no no excuse me teacher <laughs> Mickey, i'm sorry, <laughs> it's okay, no, I'm sorry. no me equivoqué i'm sorry it's okay it's, don't don't different. <laughs> it's okay let me help you let me help you and pay attention okay okay 456 million 
1,778,789.11. So this is what you have. Hundreds, let's say units. Okay, so first you read the hundreds and then the units. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there's a comma, the first comma is a million. Okay, and then you come back and you read the same. A hundred, okay, and then the full number. Again, the units, just say the number. Okay, so you say 400, 56. Then you say 178, 789.11. This is just an example, okay? Now let's see. Okay, another volunteer or try it again if you want, Milena. <laughs> I missed, okay. This is a period. Meet the chair. Okay, Oswaldo, go ahead. No? Now, who, who talked? I'm sorry, who spoke? Me, Juan. Oh, okay, Juan, try Juan. it. Yes, I tried. Um, seven. Seven. Excuse me, teacher. Hundred. Seven hundred. Seven. Look se at the screen. No, eso es lo que les decía. Va, aclaremos eso rápido. Siempre vas a leer primero los cientos como en el español. 700, decís. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, no, 500 es en español. 500, 600, 700, se me olvida el español. Ok, lo mismo pasa en el inglés. Vas a decir, ojo, hundred, hundred, como que echas el aliento. Ahí, hundred. Hundred. Okay. Very good. So, así se pronuncia esa, el 200, ¿no? So, sería 700, Juan. Uh -huh. Y luego lees la, la siguiente cifra, la lees unida. Seven, eight. 70. 78. 78. Léeme el siguiente número en rojo, por favor. 45. Ajá. Uh -huh. And the next one. 14. 14. Good. And the last one. 22. You got it. Empezá ahora. Cada número negro es 100. 778 millions. Ok, My... no un momento, no pluralizamos millions, ok? You just say million. Mm. Then you say... <laughs> Esa es la pronunciación. Thousand. 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 Así tal cual se los he escrito. Thousand. 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 Uh, todos me están diciendo ta, ta, ta. No, no. Ta, 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 ta. No. Thousand. 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 Ok. Thousand. Da, tampoco da, da. Thousand, no. Oigan, repitan. Thousand. Repitan. Zapato. 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 Zapote. 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 No ocupamos la Z en el español. No lo ocupamos. Ya se nos olvidó la pobreza. Zanahoria. Zanahoria. 
zanahoria. Ok, pues ahí está <risa> Z, es una TH, es una Z, ok. So you say thousand, thousand. 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 Ok, thousand. so vamos otra vez, Juan. Seven million. I'm sorry, uh -huh. seven. Hundred. Seven million. Uh, uh, seven hundred, I'm sorry. And then you said point mm -hmm. two. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Super rápido. Y espero que me vuelvan a ver este video de nuevo para recordar esto. Y lo voy a decir rápido porque es un poco fuera de tema, pero está muy en el tema. Este tipo que está acá, si lo alcanzan a ver, ¿ya? En español decimos punto. En inglés mm -hmm. tiene tres sin, uh, pronunciaciones diferentes. Un número entero se pronuncia como point, como lo que acabamos de ver. ¿Ok? Cuando estás dictando, es decir, estás hablando de letras, ¿ok? Se llama period. Period. ¿Ok? Cuando estás hablando de currency, ¿ok? De moneda, currency. Eh, le llamas a uh, end o with. For example, espero que vuelvan a ver este video. 778,945,614 and 22 cents. With 22 cents. And by the way, por cierto, aquí puedo decir dollars. So again, seven, mm. I'm sorry, 778,945,614 dollars and 22 cents. Okay, so period Peter, and with, yes? How do you say point? Um, ay, español. Para una dirección de email, porque cuando yeah, va a eso voy. Punto... Exactly. Dot. You, you say This was dot. my question. Dot. 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 Yeah, so you say teaching at gmail.com. Y cuánto, pu com. cuántos puntos lleva el correo. O sea, luis.rodriguez.99.gmail.com. Dot, okay. dot, dot. Y este tipo se llama at, at, at. Ok, don't say arroba o arro, arroba, no, at, como en la preposición, at. So, when you write an email, you say dot. dot. I think that's all. Ok. Just with one number, we're having a long conversation. Ok. You got it? Yes. Why why are we covering why are we covering this situation? Because we're about to talk about numbers. In the following mm -hmm. video, we're going to talk about measurements. And when we talk about measurements, we have to talk about numbers. So let's watch. Let's take a look at the video really quick, okay? Oh. The conversation. What are they talking about? Hey, hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? 
while the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. I know. One second. And still it doesn't work. Give me just one second. I'm going to send you this um, conversation really quick. have done this before. And go and find it. So I will just send you the one that we have. So, okay. So I'm going to split you as usual so we can practice this conversation. I'm sending it to your WhatsApp right now. But before we do that, I will read it again so you can practice and we can see the new vocabulary in context, okay? Okay. There we go. There you have the um, conversation. Okay, it's on your WhatsApp group. But before I split you, let me read again for you so you can have this topic clearer. So it says, um, I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what is, what's it like there? I repeat, so what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountainous. Mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Mountains, mountains. Mountains. Got it. Well, hmm. the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Mm -hmm. Any new words? Teacher, could you pronounce again mountainous? You, you got it. Really? <laughs> you got mountainous. It. Okay, thank you. It's very mountainous. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Mountain, mountainous. Mountainous. Mm -hmm. eh, sobre esa pronunciación, en una dijo que era mountainous, en la siguiente dijo mountains. Oh, la yeah. Uh -huh. Mountainous. Okay, mm -hmm. let me do it again. So you have mountainous. Mm -hmm. And then you have mountains, Next. mountains. Mountain. So okay. this one, this one, um, okay. Mountainous. This one, sorry. This one means uh, montañoso, right? And this is just a noun. Montañas, montañas, mountain, mountains, mountains. Mountains. Okay. Mountain. Okay, mountainous, mountains. Okay, mountainous, mountains. got it? Yeah. 
Okay, mm -hmm. good. So I'm going to split the class so you can practice for a few minutes, okay? Okay. The conversation again is on your chat. <laughs> take turns, take turns practicing. Let's okay. go. I'm Scott. Hello. Hola. Hi. Vero. Okay. Uh, sí. I'm Scott and you Beth. Okay. It's okay. Okay. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms and it's very mountains. Mountain mountainous. Mountainous. <laughs> Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about three, three I don't know. Three thousand. Three thousand. Eight? I don't know. 3,800 meters high. Meters high. Oh, how far is New Zealand from Australia? 3,000. I know. 3,800. Okay. Well, I live. I live in Auckland. In Auckland is about 2,000. Kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, very good. So, uh, yeah, I, I send you the. I send you the um, the pronunciation of three thousand eight hundred, right? To the chat, mm -hmm. yeah. So you say three thousand eight hundred. Three thousand eight hundred. Okay. You got it. That's the way. Okay, and then you say leave. 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 Very good. Not live. Leave. 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 Very good. Okay, do it again. Yes. Kilometer. Kil kilometers, kilometers. Kilometers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The other one is meters, meters. Meters. Okay. Okay. Continue. Do it again. Um, I'm going to Australia next year. Are you from Australia? I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So, what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has a lot of farms and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,000. 
800 meters high. Mm, how far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland and Auckland. It's about uh, 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year too. Okay, great job. I didn't check the time. We almost don't have time. So repeat, actually, actually. 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 No, faster, actually. 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 It's internet, actually. 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 What's it like there? What's it like there? What's it like there? Join. What's it like there? What's it What's like it there? there? What's it like What's there? It like Good, guys. What's it now, next word. Thousand. 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 Perfect, Vanessa. Very good. Leave. Live. live, live, live. Yeah, don't say live. Okay, live. Live. live, live. I live there. I live there. Excellent. Live. Next, kilometers. 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 Very good. It's kilometers. Excellent, guys. We're missing one more video. Today is our last session of this, uh, of these topics. So, let's go back. Okay. 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 Let's wait for the rest. Okay, any questions about the reading? No, okay. Thousand, thousand kilometers, kilometers, meters, meters. And now, mm -hmm. Good, we're about to see something else, more vocabulary. I will recommend you to check these videos uh, during your free time, if you have some time off, check the videos, listen to the videos as many times as you need, okay? And make sure you understand the pronunciation. Remember, you can actually lower, lower the speed of the video here. Okay, and okay, let's really go. Let's go and there's no HD, okay. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? 
It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big. Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. CB River is... <clears throat> okay. So, this is as simple as understanding the structure of the question. So, esto es tan fácil como comprender la estructura de la pregunta. ¿Qué es lo que estamos viendo? Preguntas con la WH. How? Ok. Y la estructura es así. Primero va la WH. How? Luego un adjetivo. Right? Luego un verbo. No necesariamente el verbo to be, pero en esta es, estos ejemplos que han visto han sido con el verbo to be. Porque estamos preguntando qué tan largo, qué tan grande, qué tan ancho, qué tan bonito es algo. Por eso se ocupa el verbo to be. Son tales cosas. Plurales. ¿eh? Es singular. Son plurales. Is, are. Ok. Y luego el complemento. Ok. So, si lo notaron. Acá está. Más claro. Y ahorita les voy a enviar la imagen mejorada para que lo puedan ver. So, how far, qué tan lejos, how big, qué tan grande, how high, qué tan alto, how deep, qué tan profundo, los BGs allá por los 70s, how deep is your love, right? How long, uh -huh. qué tan largo, how hot, qué tan caliente, and how cold. Esos son adjetivos que tendrían que conocer, ¿no? Luego en ese ejemplo verán el verbo to be de manera singular porque estoy hablando de un objeto. Ahora bien, sí, de un objeto, que qué tan lejos es o está. Ok, en este caso está New Zealand from Australia. Now to answer, too much Spanish, we go, it's about. ¿Quién me puede ayudar acá? It's about 2,000 kilometers. Uh -huh. bueno, está alrededor de dos mil kilómetros. Uh -huh. Or a thousand two hundred miles. Ok, o mil doscientas millas. Sí. Remember, we have kilometers, they have miles. That's the measurement unit. Uh -huh. Then, yeah. what else? Squared miles. Ajá, uh -huh. square miles, millas cuadradas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O kilómetros cuadrados. Same thing. Okay. Meters, meters, feet. Pies. Pies, very good. Yes. Ok, what else? Ok, you have, we have Celsius, they have Fahrenheit. Ok, degrees. Degrees, yes. grados, very good. Etc. Any questions? Sure. This moment, no. I have. Not at the moment. Uh huh. Not at the teacher, moment. I have heard uh, a lot of times. Oh no, a lot of no is a lot of times. A video from Holly, Super Holly. She explained in a a little video about fifteen minutes the use of get, and she says that get the verb to get has different uh, meanings. 
Could you explain some uh, a little bit about the get? Not right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, because we're short enough time. Ya se nos está okay. acabando el tiempo y quería cubrir esto, que es el último video de esta sección. But yeah, get, uh, get tiene cuatro o cinco significados diferentes. Okay. It's very simple. Le voy a enviar una presentación sobre eso, okay? Okay, teacher. Ahí en el Thank chat. You. Está bien okay. clara esa presentación de los cuatro usos, okay? No más terminamos la clase. Thank Good. you. Okay, do you have any questions on how to use this how adjective? And si escucharon, if you heard, Jessica pide que se le contesten algunas preguntas al final del video, right? How tall are you? Es la única que me recuerdo. Okay. Where? ¿Dónde van a contestar esas preguntas? In the box. Yes. In the discussion forum, yes. Go to the discussion forum and answer these three questions, I think she said. Let's see. As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do. It's four questions. Okay, so make sure you watch the video again or wait for the YouTube video if you want to. Just go to the platform if you want. And that's very simple. And that's your homework. You can answer these four questions here in the platform, okay? Okay. Don't forget. No se les olvide. Para mañana ya tiene que estar completado hasta acá, hasta el ejercicio 4.13. 4.13. Para tomorrow, mañana en la noche ya tiene que estar completado esto, ok, se lo digo en español quiero que quede bien claro porque ya la otra semana es la última y pues terminamos ok, okay if you need help, just text okay. me I'll be there, ok ok, okay. thank you teacher good night good night good night